So this is question 6 from paper 1 of the 2015 National 5 SQA maths exam. We're given a graph and we're told it's part of the graph of y equals a sine bx. We're asked to state the values of a and b. Now I think to do this we should get into an animation just to see what happens when we change the values of a and b. So here we have an animation and it shows just now the graph of a sine bx where a is 1 and b is 1. So we've got one lot of sine 1x. That's just the normal y equals sine x graph. There's one cycle between 0 and 360. It goes up to 1 down to 0, negative 1 and back up to, to 0. So one cycle shown and let's move the value of a up. Let's increase the value of A. And you'll see that the amplitude of the graph is increasing. If we increase A to a value of 4, we have a sine graph that goes up to a maximum value of 4, back down to 0, minimum value of negative 4. We say that this graph has an amplitude of 4. It deviates from the uh, mean value by 4. 4 up, 4 down. So let's put that back to 1, amplitude of 1, normal sine graph, and let's increase the number in front of the angle x. So let's increase it to 2. We've got a graph of sine 2x, and you'll notice there's one, two cycles where we used to have 1. 2 for the price of 1. Sine 3x, 1, 2, 3 cycles where we used to have 1. Sine 4x, 4 cycles, where we used to have 1, and so on. There's 5 cycles. So let's put it back to 1. Now the graph that we've got, if you look at it, you can see that we've got an amplitude of 4. It goes up to a maximum of 4, minimum of negative 4. And there's quite a lot of cycles between 0 and 360. I think you'll find that there's 3 of them. So let's go back to the question. So we can see from that animation that A, the amplitude, is 4. And B, the number of cycles that you get between 0 and 360, is 3.